Hi, welcome to this beautiful Sunday fall morning. What a perfect day for a garden scroll. This turned out to be the last day before the temperatures dropped down into the low 30s. So the pictures you'll see soon will be after the the cold, the cold weather that was like a killing cold. But this day was a beautiful day on October the 27th. I don't know if all the mums will actually get a chance to open up. But the ones that were open were beautiful. And these little succulents, the ones right before this picture, are probably not going to be there. Uh, they are hardy, so they possibly will come back next year. Of course, these will come back from seed, as well as the strawberry fields in the picture before that. Um, some of the mums may still be out there after they're really cold, but I'm not sure it's been really cold for a couple of days. And I think we have at least one or two more cold days before it's supposed to warm up some again. But this day, again, was still beautiful. Our fall was so short, and they have been now. This makes the third year in a row that it's been such a very short time of pretty days before the actual really cold set in. that I'm sure that God has set everything in order the way it should be. And I'm ready for a rest. Possibly these little plants are ready for a rest too. Even though it means they'll have to die for this year and maybe come back from seed and maybe come back from root. And then of course some of them will have to be replanted next spring. And maybe after a good long rest, which is probably never really quite long enough, <laughs> but uh, maybe we'll be ready to go with renewed energy again, just like the, the when we lost that extreme heat and we got a few pretty days we got that I got that new excitement of starting over and enjoying it but now it's coming to an end again it'll soon be soon be over in the garden Today is October the 28th, and as you know, the cold came early this year for Oklahoma. Even though there's still some beautiful color, beautiful fall color in the garden, I wanted to show this to you one more time because today we're going to start covering everything up with plastic. Um, not everything maybe, but a lot of stuff. I won't be able to come out and take another picture of it this season without you seeing just a bunch of plastic. But I want to cover things like this little birdhouse and just a bunch of the garden art needs to be covered. There's even some of the plants that I want to cover. 
there's some of the cactus and just just several plants that I will want to cover so um, I wanted to show you just one more time before we start covering everything and get it ready I was looking for a pretty day to do this but actually it's going to be cold all week and Thursday either Wednesday night or Thursday I think we're due for to the temperatures to go below freezing or at least to 32 so that's what we're looking at so I hate to say goodbye but uh, to all the pretty garden mimes and I may get to show you a few of them still in the future but it won't be the same because those backgrounds look good too, too in the picture and you just don't really want to see a bunch of covered uh, or plastic covering up everything but I want it to be protected and I want to bring my hoses in and take care of stuff as best as I can so that we can just do this again next year and see what kind of a garden we have then. So the things are covered up now and we've had the cold weather now. My husband took a picture of uh, our temperature gauge this morning and it was about nine nine o'clock when he took it I think so and this is how cold it got I mean everything is everything is gone as far as the plants well look at that there's one still alive <laughs> after it froze everything there may be a little bit of color but most things are going to be all curled up looking pitiful Here's the other bird bath. Iced over. But I did get a lot of things covered. I didn't get them all covered. My feet and my hands got so cold I couldn't hardly work in it. And so after I got the things that were, well, mainly glass things or things I knew probably wouldn't make it very very long through the oh look there's one I forgot and you can tell it's already been cracked the differences in the temperature just crack the glass especially I try to cover all that uh, which of course I didn't get this one covered in time and there will be probably quite a bit that I didn't get done but I'm thankful for the things I did get covered and um uh, we just knew winter was coming. Winter has to come. But fall tried. It tried hard. <laughs> I wish we could have had a longer, more lovely fall. But, you know, we just have to take what we get. But you can definitely see why I said I wanted to show it to you one more time before I covered things with bags. But this does help. It, I've Actually, I learned that it even helps the little plants that are in there. Because when I first put these bags on, I put them on to protect the garden art from cracking, freezing, and thawing, and cracking. And I noticed that the ones I put it on, where they got, if I put it on with a clear plastic bag, and they got air and water underneath it, air and moisture underneath it, that it even kept the plants alive of course the ones that it kept looking good are either hardy or uh, semi-hardy and so but it, it definitely worked and it worked really well on my cactus so this is where i covered my cactus and the year that i didn't do that it there was just barely a little piece of it that came back uh, but it did come back and got big and pretty again but the next year when I put this cover on to protect the little angel that's in there uh, I just went ahead and put it over the cactus and I do leave where there's room for air to get in there and water to get in there 
and then um, it protected the cactus. The cactus looked almost as good as it did when I covered it up, when I uncovered it in the spring. The garden is becoming like a cemetery where dead plants live now. All this stuff will have to be cleared out for the spring. But so much of it will come back and be beautiful again. And there's still some life out here too. And I heard the geese going over. I was going to try to get them for you, but they're too far away. I can't see them and the sound that they make is... For a second there I heard it, but I don't think you could hear it on here. I gathered up a few celosia seeds and a few zini seeds, uh, some globe, purple globe flower seeds, and there will be a few more that I'll gather up as we go. But the garden is definitely going to sleep, going dormant for the winter. So I wanted to read a, a few scriptures from the Bible since we've been talking about winter and harvest and the seasons I thought I would read and this I get this from the BibleGateway.com which I would certainly recommend it has all the different versions whichever one you want and I sir and I actually picked the King James Version that's my favorite I'm old school and um, I've learned to be proud of it. You know, Steve Harvey says, just own it. So I'm going to just own it today. But Genesis 8, 20 and 22, King James Version says, And Noah builded an altar unto the Lord, and took of every clean beast and of every clean fowl, and offered burnt offerings on the altar. And the Lord smelled a sweet savor. And the Lord said in his heart, I will not again curse the ground any more for man's sake. For the imagination of man's heart is evil from his youth. Neither will I again smite any more every living thing as I have done. While the earth remaineth, seed time and harvest, cold and heat summer and winter and day and night shall not cease and then in Psalms 74 16 and 17 the day is thine the night also is thine thou hast prepared the light and the sun thou hast set all the borders of the earth thou hast made summer and winter and in Proverbs 20 3 and 7, 3 through 7, it is an honor for a man to cease from strife, but every fool will be meddling. Thou sluggard, the sluggard will not plow by reason of the cold, neither sh therefore he shall beg in harvest and have nothing. Counsel in the heart of a man is like deep water, but a man of understanding will draw it out. Most men will proclaim every one his own goodness, but a faithful man who can find. The just man walketh in his integrity. His children are blessed after him. So thank you for uh, going on the Garden Scrolls with me. And please be sure to like and subscribe so we can go on many more Garden Scrolls together.